The pandemic has put financial strains on many families, but one Tucson nonprofit ex is expanding their services in an effort to help. Side on your side's Megan Meyer shares how food banks are going mobile. Interfaith Community Services new mobile food bank will serve roughly 60 families with each of their distribution events and those that have already come by say it's been a big help. A simple round of groceries is too often taken for granted, but not by those who picked up food this Thursday. Everybody is tight and I'm retired in the you know, retirement doesn't cover everything. Michelle Muller is getting help from Interfaith Community Services. This is a huge, a huge benefit because uh, groceries are necessary. More people have access to healthy groceries thanks to this new mobile food bank, a first of its kind in southern Arizona. It's a specialized truck that allows us to uh, have refrigerated food like dairy and produce in addition to frozen food like frozen meats. The truck also has plenty of space for some of the more classic dry good items. Able to give them a full array of food so they can get a lot more than the kinds of food that they might be able to get at a, a typical food bank. ICS plans to take their mobile bank to parts of Tucson that are chronically underserved. Being in neighborhoods where people live to get the food right where they live is something that's desperately needed in our communities. Last year, ICS fed 43,000 and could accomplish more in 2022. There's so much I can share them with my neighbor across the street that can't get out. So we enjoy that. Megan Meyer, Kagan 9 on your side. Oh, that's great to see. Well done. Yeah, it really is.